Welcome back to Captain of Industry. My name is Niklaus and we are here with the third installment of our Let's Play Guide tutorial walkthrough, whatever we want to call it here, uh, of, uh, of this wonderful game. And now I find it super interesting that uh, this game is has so much potential and it's pretty clear that whatever any one of us YouTuber streamers are doing right now, it's going to be looked back on with uh, disdain in years to come when we have uh, perfected the designs. In any case, I am uh, on the journey to perfect designs, and uh, that's what we're going to be trying to do. Well, at least uh, improve, make some good, nice, crisp designs as we always try. So with that in mind, let's talk a bit about what the objective is today. Well, I've designed these uh, things here and put them in a very specific location because I am preparing for belts. So belts will be back in town here to uh, transport things around. And uh, that will be, belts will require uh, mainly rubber and copper and construction parts too. Well, construction parts too needs rubber and copper. So we're we're going to be running, we don't have a copper supply, we don't have a rubber supply, and we can't even make construction parts too. So it's not really like we have just a short path to belts. But that is what we're going to do because it'll make a massive, massive difference for our base once we get that. There are a few other things that I've done between sessions that I want to show you if I do this. First of all, this is our new maintenance location. And uh, I have... It basically says this one takes copper, rubber, iron. <clears throat> Where are you? And it goes in here to a assembler. This will, of course, be these two, rubber and copper, will go into this assembler, making uh, strange parts that I do not want to put in a box, but I do want to have these in a box because I just saw that otherwise the trucks will just be spending too much time. By the time this one requests, then it... it, it by the time it requests, it uh, takes time for the truck to come in and that by that point it already runs idle. And then I have my two maintenance depots fully loaded. Maintenance is so important. Always make sure that you prioritize maintenance. Don't put your maintenance and just sort of, oh, they'll find out themselves. No, you have to make a dedicated maintenance. Yeah. I would I would say. Here we have the vehicle parts. I could and I will eventually put it into a box, but not right now because if I put it into a box, then it's going to fill up like way, way, way too much. Uh, that one means yeah, the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I also will use this for later on for science level two, which also uses these two items here. So that's just preparation for the far future. We'll also be expanding our little city and turning on the beacon now. We have four workers available. Definitely not enough. Over here, I made a mistake last time. Uh, two mistakes, actually. One was not leaving enough room and the other one was... Uh, only having one of these, they only produce three cement per minute and these ones require three cement per minute. So you actually need one by one. I'm making it with this much space in between because when we get to what is called uh, efficient concrete, then we also need to bring sand in and I'll bring sand in as well here. And uh, where do we have sand? Oh, where do we have sand? I think I found my sand location. Yeah, I think I found it. Damn. <laughs> so. Let's get started. So that was just a, a a heads up on this. This is one of the things I really want to put in a belt, in a box here. Um, is it even producing enough? Mm, not enough here. Yeah, I would like to get one more here, and also get a few more here. I'll I'll keep working on some of these. Yes, definitely, definitely. Right, let's see. What are the first things? Uh, first thing we have to look at is what is our overall supply of rubber? Not much, plus whatever we have. Um, ship repair, I'll keep that for a separate episode. We are completely running out of cement, but that's okay because now we can make the cement. I should try to keep this empty uh, so that we don't have to deal with that. And the wood is... How's the wood doing? Uh, it's doing okay. So we can go do a thing. We don't need it because now we have our own. I am in construction mode. Right. Let's start looking at the rubber because rubber is pretty easy to make. It is made in a rubber maker. That's under oil products. Rubber maker. So what does it require? It requires diesel and sulfur. We don't have that. So never mind that. So the other one is less diesel, a bit of coal, and then it gets rubber and waste. So we need to make it next to the waste, next to the diesel. And eventually here, this one takes coal, then I am going to see this is six coal plus six coal. So it's not very much coal and then we'll have a coal line coming in here. 
and I can actually build that just here. With um, okay, okay, not like that then. That's interesting. It should be done. It should be possible. There. Yes. So that will be the location. And we'll just keep going it like this. I'm not building it, as you can see. But I'm going to try to try to see where it is going to be built. <clears throat> Which means now the rubber maker is also going to take this inbound. So if we build it at this distance. Here. Yeah. And there. How much is this consuming? 12 plus 12. This is producing 24 plus 24. So it's it's consuming some, yeah, but not like all of it. And we can also start working from here. This will be ground zero. I go up. Go up. Make sure that it has room for it. And, oh, it, ah, uh, yeah, keeping this up here is that. Oh, I love that we can, oh, nope, nope, nope. Just take small parts of it out. So when we get new refugees, that will also luckily bring in some rubber and copper, which will keep us happy for now. Make sure this stays at level one. Good. And then from here, inbound, inbound. Yes. That is, then the copper is going to, to work like this. Um, actually, if I do this, there might be a problem. Uh, even if I, even if I just do it like this, uh, because when they are registering, when it says to auto import, when they're registering that they have a, a belt inbound, then they won't request any more with truck imports, even if it's a ghost belt. And that means this one will just simply stop importing coal. You can see here, stop importing coal. Thank you for illustrating it. So uh, if you do this, be careful. You can't just leave these here, but we need to make sure that they can actually be placed there. Uh, that's a bit of a tricky thing. And I'll build it. It should only need to be built here. Then we can take it directly in and bring it. That is the weirdest thing I've ever seen. There you go. Okay. All right. Well, we'll just build it over here then. There. Good. So that brings it in here. So now we have the two inputs. Then we need the two outputs. Oh. And <laughs> let's see. Oh, it's not actually a problem. Here. And that will also go in here. Right, so they'll just be putting into that belt and we will then have this being output. We'll put it on a box eventually, but not right now. Good, so that is actually our rubber build. Any of this require, no, none of this require anything better. I mean, this one requires some construction parts too that we obviously don't have. So let's, uh, let's actually take all of this out. No, we'll, we can keep it, we can keep it, we can keep it. All right, uh, let's unpause everything and then pause you and you. Yes. Right, so that should actually get us some uh, some rubber maker eventually. And I will now realize that I did not have the signs running. That's bad. Let's see. Fuel station is super amazing to have. Uh, irrigated farms is something we'd like to have. A uh, groundwater pump is also helpful because then we don't need to rely on water coming from the... And crop rotation is really good. Actually, crop rotation is more important than the other ones because we're not going to build the other ones. We're going to be doing this immediately. That... Oh, wow. That's a lot of things that we should have been working on. Yeah, but I didn't want to do science while I was, while I was doing... 
where, while I was doing design work. There we go. That one. Transport splitting. We'll also take that. Uh, this is not going to be used anytime soon. So we'll take that. Uh, vehicle plus. Don't think we're going to need it. And captain's office. Also something we much rather have next time. All right. We now have 33 additional workers. I think that's good because that's somewhat where we want to be here. These are being built. Great. Now, <clears throat> we have built some of these links locations and... I'm going to build one more because we absolutely need to make sure that this is always going. <clears throat> Are you focusing on? Nope. You need to focus on iron parts and we'll have another one as well. That one, you'll also be focusing on iron. I think I made it a mistake in the first episode by here. Oh, I still have that mistake. Never mind. Well, the good thing is that I can now show that the mistake is there and also over the coal because we obviously don't want to have the coal being junked in that location. Never mind that. This is not looking so hot. Uh, what I could do is now make some temporary storage buildings for, for the wood so that we can just have it stored somewhere. That one. Uh, I need to think about it like here. And these can now be built. Oh, did I pause? No, I didn't pause. It's just that these are stuck. We could also just get it in to make more coal because that could be reasonable. Let's have a look at this part. Definitely need more trucks for this because they are going to go really far away. Coal. And unfortunately, this is also a problem that my trucks here or my excavators are spending so much time because they have to go all the way over there. That's why we really want the fuel, the fuel depot to, uh, to get that. I love the little uh, dust clouds coming up after them when they're driving in sand. It's so cool. There's something you don't get when they drive on on this terrain. But it looks so cool that you have these little... It gets uh, Mad Max vibes. <laughs> can I... Can I... Do I want one of these? I don't think I actually want these to be prioritized. There. Uh, maybe one of these should be kind of deallocated from here. Oh, wow. I have two of those. That's way too much. Why did I build two of those? Are you kidding me? How many I, do I have? Truck has no assignment. I think I'm actually going to scrap you. Yeah, our our wooden um, epoch here is actually out. As long as we can get these in here, then it shouldn't be a problem. And our crops, they are okay. I think we need to make the third one right now. Because we are expanding our population, and this is one of yet another one of those things that are super awful to run out of. There, and so you can see we are we're now we've now issued way too many build commands, and that's kind of. I know what I'm. Haha, <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing, but I. Um. Yeah, it's not that I know what I'm doing, but I have a plan of what I want to do. So I, it's easy for me to execute commands. While if you're playing by yourself for the first time, I recommend sort of build one thing, see it working, uh, look at it and go, mm, okay, yes, this looks good. And then from there, move on. Because right now we have a few too many things that are in operation. I think we also need a few more of these parts, a few more vehicles to make sure that we keep on top of this. Of course, it's going to be using more. Well, actually, is it going to use more maintenance? Well, the maintenance is divided by how much they drive. Now, obviously, they're going to drive a lot back and forth because of the distances but having more trucks doesn't necessarily mean more driving it just means that all the drive as long as all the driving requests are fulfilled then it's not going to be more driving by having more vehicles unless of course they it's not by kilometer but per by time oh it's by time no never mind never mind it is going to use but it's only two it's only two let's have a look at this we are only at 71 and at, why do i have 110 max i have two of these operational that should be more than 110 max well, they're still, they're still happy. They're still happy. Right. So this is working. Kind of working. And uh, I'd like to prioritize this so we can get some rubber production going. You could argue that you only really need one. But uh, yeah, we'll, we'll need this. That's boosted. Where is our... That's silica. Oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. This is not working because I don't have the silicon. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Why didn't you not why did you not tell me that? I bet you're already typing it away in the comments. I need to mine the silica here. 
and it needs to go into that location so um yeah it doesn't really matter where i build it okay so this will definitely get more 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 yes there we go all right this will be the silica location edit area and i'll just switch on this part so we'll do the area like like this good and i will yeah it's fine you know that is actually going to be more priority than our rubber plant so i'm gonna unprioritize this one because we do not even make concrete as long as we do it this way that means we need to trade again yeah just want to make sure that we have the concrete <laughs> so even though we feel that the concrete is working it isn't because we don't have that yet and this one gets done this year and i will need to make some mining mining will be make sure that it's flat at level three we're going to take out just this part first that's a good place to take out there we'll also be getting a lot of sand which i don't know where we're going to put the sand yet Maybe they'll be actually be stuck with not loading, knowing where they put the sand. I don't know. We'll see. And I think that I also want to have a loose storage box over at this location exclusively for the sand. No, not the sand. Uh, I think this is a good place because I'm also going to make another one. This would be for the two inputs, coal and... I should bring the coal in from the other side then. Yeah. So the coal should be on this side. And do we think this is close enough? No, we don't. I'll build here. This one will be coal. I'm just going to draw the lines here because we need to see it. You're going to go up. It really doesn't want to do that. Cannot turn on a ramp, but it's not a ramp. And we got the farming crop rotation. Uh, I'm going to leave this just for a sec so we can set up the crop rotation. Okay, now what is our option? We have either we need the green manure here for for using, which also uses water, and we don't have enough water. So that's not, or we just uh, leave it with no crop. If I do this one, then I, I can see that my expected production over 60 seconds will be. 3.8, uh, 9.8. That's definitely better than not having this one. 9.2. Not a lot better. What if I just leave it fallow? Then it drops down to 9.2. It stays at 9.2, but I don't use the water. And I think that not using the water is a good idea. What if I leave two of these? It'll be... I don't think that's correct. Rapa has no recipe. Uh... Yeah. Where's my water supply? This one must be able to export with trucks as well to get it in here. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not so sure that this is correct. Like, why does it not change anything when it's every 60 seconds like this? I think I'll just do that because then it doesn't use water. So the water that the water soil level here will not be consumed during leaving it fallow. Hmm. And then it'll just get that natural replenishment is 9.6. Oh, that's why. Because the natural replenishment is actually really high because the soil quality is low. Right. So the lower the soil quality, the higher the natural replenishment, which means we get a fertility equilibrium that's very low, actually. Very, very low and but i also think that we have that's kind of the issue because we have not enough uh, not enough water coming in here yeah definitely uh, i'd like to build more water but we are also kind of out of things uh, i will be building that one and that one so that should give us 
if we get some coal inbound, of course, then that should give us some some rubber now being produced. Great. Which one were we doing? Oh yeah, we were doing this one. Uh, this looks good. I'll take this one out. I will get a truck in here so that we can get the sand into these locations and I'll cut this out. There. This will be limestone and this will be coal. Now I'm not going to prioritize these. That'll be like that. And then we have here crop rotation. Yes. Uh, ramps. Yes. Um, new refugees. Uh, we have 51. That's actually enough. Tutorial farming. No, I just showed you how to do the farming. We can always do, uh, if there's an interest for it, sort of when we get a bit further into the game, then we can sort of go back and revisit some of the topics like maintenance and farming and uh, ship exploration and uh, construction part builds and that kind of thing to to sort of do more of an in a sort of tutorial way. If you look out here, this is my pier that we're working on. This pier is, it's making good progress and it's kind of equally far from everything. So that's good, I guess. Hey, look at that. We got our first rubber built. That is great. Right, so what is the next thing we want to build? I think it's actually uh, going to be the construction part two because without construction parts two and rubber, we are not going to make anything. We do have a lot of copper, but we don't have a lot of rubber, copper rubber. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to make sure that we have a good design for this one. Whew. Okay, uh, oh, Rose and Kilns need an export. Oh, exhaust. Of course it needs an exhaust. Oh, no. I have decided that I always want to do it this way. I really don't find a need to build, to consolidate these. So, for example, this one is producing 9 plus 9 plus 9. You could bring it on one pipe, but if we look at the cost of this one, it's 10. So this costs 40. If you could do one stack, that's 10. And then, of course, I wouldn't be doing using 30 construction parts for... For this, uh, can I do that one? I'll deliver that. But I just feel that it's 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 gonna turn out into a lot less spaghetti if I don't sort of start to consolidate. Because if I did it here, for example, uh, let's see, there may be some issues with some of these eventually. Like for example here, 36 plus 36. I'm consolidating that on one line, which is absolutely incorrect. 100% incorrect. Get that out of the way. Right. So right now, it cannot produce at maximum rate because of the output is uh, is incapable of transporting it. So I'm going to need to do this. Overcrowded. Well, I guess we take this on out then. And that's one more thing to build. Uh, I think we'll eventually have... We'll probably get stuck here. Or not stuck, but have six tiles that was a lot okay so what happens what happens if we get that uh what happens if we're homeless well it's gonna ruin our our unity we'll kind of have to deal with that uh, let's see overcrowded it's one overcrowded it's not much just just one homeless person There's, it has to be a single homeless person that we can and then just go like, oh yes, look at that. We have a homeless person in our town. There we go. That's, that's, you gotta have that. And that one. And that one. So this is, uh, from now on, I think I'll just build one of these stacks. Also, like, how much did this cost? Well, it's only costing eight. It's not super expensive, but I, I, I think it's, it's gonna cost a bit more. But it's just simplifying things so much in terms of what we're doing here, that one. And I don't think I need to <laughs> I think I need to prioritize it, otherwise I'll never get it. The really important part is making sure that we have kind of a surplus or kind of an idea about what things are being. The most important thing is, of course, making sure that we have these operational and they're not. They're not because concrete. And this one is now making concrete. That means this will also have to be a priority. Yeah, the exhaust is coming out. So we need to make sure that concrete remains a priority. And this one, as it produces, it goes in here. 
I think what uh, we need to do now is sort of let it quiet down a bit so that we can uh, we can move forward with the next uh, with the next stuff and that will be the design part actually we can move by the design part because we're going to be in in um, in this mode in design mode so what i want to do is let's have a look first here we need to make construction part one and electronics need to go into construction part two so what i'm going to do is i'm going to have here then i'm going to have a splitter that takes the construction parts further along and some of it into a box half in half forward then i'm going to build an electronics part here that is a dedicated electronics part not to be interfered with this but a dedicated electronics part that goes into a box and also into the construction the, the construction parts too so that is the objective for this part how are we going to do this well uh, this is they are kind of that will be another one with copper and this one will be rubber so they'll be they'll be getting in here I'll be taking some more of these. Like that. I'll take this out. So basically here we have three of inputs and one output. Here we'll have two inputs and one output. So we need these. And we'll do it exactly the same as we did before. There. So this these will be now making they will be making electronics. And electronics and electronics. There is a copy here for that one. Copy settings, but yeah, I don't think we think we need that many settings. And then we continue and this will be in two. We now need another input here. Uh, no, we don't need more inputs, to be honest, because we do have the two inputs here. What we do need is some space. Because I don't want this to be crowded. And then we have the output here. Don't need that. And then we get here. And... This will now be construction pass two. This will be electronics. And these will be construction pass two, construction pass two, and construction pass two. There. So that's going to be the design for this part. Now it does look weird, but it means that this is why we want the belts to go in here. Uh, irrigated farms. What is the next one? Actually, this transport thing in Q4, in Q2, fuel station. So. Fuel station is super useful, I guess. Irrigated farms. We just got irrigated farms. And I actually think that we want to upgrade these to irrigated farms. Well, we don't because uh, we can't. That's construction part two domain. So at this point, I think I will just let it idle just a bit so that we can uh, we can see the whole thing coming together and we can move forward with the, with more design work and get this one started when we have a, a bit quiet down. But right now we've issued too many build commands. One, two, three, four five that's a big one and then these two as well six so too many build commands considering uh, what we have so let's uh, let's wait a bit and then come back when we are ready to uh, to go with the next okay so we have uh, let the time pass and as you can see low food that's <laughs> what happens i uh, this one didn't really build quick enough so uh, it of course you can't feed 281 people with just two regular old fashioned farms here so uh, that was uh, pretty uh, pretty bad. So we, we did look at this. So we get 40, 49 in 48 uh, in 2.2 .2 months. We get nothing here. We got 36 in 1.3 months. So we, we do get more stuff here. And I built even built this one or encouraged the, another one to get built here. I have enabled a very hidden uh, setup here, which is absolutely amazing. This one, allow partially loaded trucks. Disable that. What that means is that Trucks will only go somewhere when they can load a full truck. For example, out uh, here, they will, if you do it with partially, they will load a truck when it's more than half full. Oh, it actually got completed right now. And, uh, and that's, 
it's something, right? It's it's something that, but I, I don't think that's good. Generally, if uh, if you want to drive a truck, we want to make sure that it's full and not sort of driving around. Oh, you need to uh, get something. Yeah. So that is uh, something we want to to deal with. Here, these are all. <clears throat> they're all working. Yes, yes, please. Uh, we can see that little red light here. That's because they're burning. Uh, this one is very busy. And I might even want to take another one of these just to go. I decided to ease up on on the transport because instead of these transporting all the way over to our pier, then I just start making a ramp here because we do want a ramp to get up here. So that was a nice little location to build a ramp next to this. So uh, that's where they drop it off to also make sure that they can drop off faster. Now we have three trucks here and going back and forth. And they will be primarily going into here or here. So I think three trucks might be just fine. And this one will also be prioritizing limestone. There we go. And this one's prioritizing limestone. We are using so much limestone for the inefficient here in the road so can the, the cement with limestone and coal is super inefficient we want better like, but i think we it's also time for us to look at the creation of all of this so we will uh, enable that and uh, what we do need is we need a transport balancer as well in order for this one to actually work the question is where would we want to be to focus our first build of uh, uh, yeah our first Transport belts. What is the most important thing? You could say this one, but I don't think it's actually a good idea. <clears throat> because if I focus on this one as the transport belt build, then it'll kind of get stuck while halfway building the transports. Transports called belts. Why is it seven months now? Come on. Food. Food delivery truck. Food delivery truck. Yes. Two food delivery trucks. 17 coming in. Get, get, get. Get that potato. You can... Chips, chips, chips. No fish. Actually, we can't be fishing. That's interesting. Should be able to be fishing. Like a fishing dock. That would be pretty cool. That's actually really cool. Should be doing that. Um, this one is actually able to get in, uh, get going. This is priority 10. So it won't be starting until all of these are priority 8. So we want to make sure that we get these going. Um, we just want to make some of this going here. Because we do have one over here. Oh, you know what? I think this is actually going to be our first one to build. Yes, that's a good place because then we have this isolated as a dedicated build for maintenance. And maintenance, you know that. That's the most annoying thing. So let's get this uh, this going. Uh, you are starting to work. Great. You can be upgraded, but that would require some of the upgrade materials that we do not have. And uh, these will not be doing until any and all of this. Wow, it's only like nine months now. That's because we have a lot of people. Good thing we built all four of these now. And the reason why I'm building it like this, there should be room to go by here. And of course, it's like you, you could leave a road down the middle, but I, I, I like this. So the point is that it will it'll be easier to sort of feed in water on the side, feed in the water on the back side, feed in take out the materials on the outside here and fertilizers whatever we need at some point that will be uh, that'll be just easier let me uh, just check that we are getting enough construction materials yes yes and yes we can boost this just because this is what we what we really need to get going oh look at that all four of them have little red dots so they are active as well that's good so we are getting enough limestone in here great that should get these going and we have a pretty massive amount now where are our construction locations? This is the only thing that is set up for construction this one. So, get it going. Now things are looking better when it comes to construction parts. We've constructed all of this and uh, construction parts will now be going into the box. Well, they won't because they'll be going in here. <clears throat> that will mean that we now start slowly working on our new construction parts too, which will be the first thing we get to here. There we go. Uh, come on, let's, let me see that this one, this one has lots of construction parts too. We don't have anything that requested yet. The first thing we want to do actually is not the belt because there is one thing that's more important and that is the fuel station. So we want to get a fuel station over here or do we want to get it over here? I think I'll take it here. Low food supply, it just kind of hovers around that. It's a, it's a bit weird. Here. And let's get 
that one because the fuel station actually requires the first 20 construction parts and the fuel station has the advantage oh whoa 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 i do not have enough trucks am i i'm building a few trucks yes get it in there <clears throat> Uh, yeah, so we need a few more trucks to go around here with all the stuff that's now being active. And I'll quick deliver the next one as well. So this will get the first construction parts. Now, I set it also so that it doesn't build unless it can bring in a full one. So let's see. These has three. These are not in here. Well, these, it should be working, right? It should be. Now, let's start designing the belts because the belts will be alleviating like for example here iron going into that one it probably will never go from here to here it'll go from the iron location over to this location so we need to make sure that it gets improved and what we want to do is from the copper in here yes from this one um there that looks good and that's one incompatible port Oh, it's turned the wrong way. Ha! Huh. Why did you turn the wrong way? Mm. Oops. And these ones I can enable. Sure. How much does that cost? That cost four plus four rubber. The rubber is no longer a problem. So what if we can... We'll just do... Oh, I shouldn't have done that. Because that's actually the stuff that should have gone over here. Never mind. I thought that was built. Never mind. All right. This will just need to find a place to get the iron out of uh, out of here. Get that out of there. So we can rotate it. And so the new iron location is built. And we can uh, now finally wrap it in here. Hopefully correct. Here. And go... Like that. And of course, build. And you know, we'll just use the Unity tool for it because why not? And then what I can do for these is now that they are always like this, then I can just set them up to do this. If I don't do this, then they will also actually come in here and pick them up. And I don't want that. I want them to exclusively go here. Uh, so what do we want? We want this part here, flat conveyor. It needs to go three out and then it goes in here. It goes over here and in there. It goes that other way and in there. This needs to go up. Needs to go up, yes. Ah, this is always the problem, isn't it? Just persuading it that it wants to be placed on top. Yeah, there we go. And it goes over to that location and inbound. Nope. In from here. And inbound from here. And inbound. Yes, so that is now done. I will be enabling it. Can I unity it? I don't think I can, but we can get some of it at least unityed. That will mean that we have our production of materials automated from raw materials. Oh, look at that. That was beautiful. That is less beautiful though. Why is, oh, okay. It is coming out here. And that means these two, I am mortally afraid of, uh, of, of running out of uh, maintenance. So that's why I'm, I'm focusing on this. Uh, we have this one built and now I'm going to be assigning two vehicles for this and I'll be uh, getting one more vehicle here, speed deliver. And food is looking like it's recovering and that is good. Now, what we can do is now build the next because I want to build this one as well. It's going to be taking a bit of effort in here. And I think I'm going to start from this part, uh, right this side and get that in. So again, we'll be doing these are flat conveyors. So that will again immediately go in like this. That was easy. This one will go one up. And it'll go to the second point, go one beyond, and then dip in. Go one further, go one over here, and then it can dip in. Dip in, and the next one. We'll now go up to, oh, that's too high. There. It will go to this location, and then it'll go 
It's also important. One before that, so it's like four diff four distance away. Uh, here, here, and then with a distance of four, it goes in very, very smoothly. And of course, I do it exactly the same because I like consistency. I will be doing that. And then I'll also try and see how much we can get away with with Unity. Some of it we can get away with with Unity. Oh, this one, uh, it's not going to get stuck. Oh, look at that. Some of it actually got done. Brilliant. Oh, that's actually perfect that it completed some of them entirely there and there. These will now be set up so that they are requesting it. Yeah. Oh, that's glorious. That is so glorious. Uh, we do need this part here. How many do we have? Uh, we still have a few. We still have a few. So it looks like it could work. It could work. So now I want to make the return one. So I'm going to get a flat bouncer and I'm going to set it here. And that'll go in here. Oops. And then I'll be... There. The reason why I'm building that flat bouncer here is because I'm going to need this half of it to go into the box and half go over here. Now at this point, this is not working. We might actually be in trouble with this. Let's see how much we can build. None of it already. Ah, that one got built. Nice. Okay, this is perfect. So this is if the first one is actually going out immediately. So we do have a constant production now flowing in here. The problem is that these ones that are built in uh, the construction parts in this assembler will not be able to get out before these get here. So we'll have to prioritize these two over the other inbounds, I think. Yeah. What are we missing here? Six of that. Maybe this is actually more more high priorities. I don't know. That ah, doesn't matter. These are these are done now. Then that one is the highest priority. We'll get that sorted. What about this one? This one will now be the highest priority. Yep. So we now have a constant flow into at least two of them are working now. Yep. Two of them are now fully automated. And this one can also go up to 90. How's that one coming along? Well, we just need five more. Five more. That's not so bad. This is great. This is great. We need to make sure we get the rest of this set up as well in this episode so that we can sort of say that's it and then from there on we'll be everything needs to be converted to belt based transports here transport belt based 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 yes transport and that one okay i just cheated this one off the delivery that one is good now we can do the same thing here or we can focus on that one first hmm let's build it in sequence. So what I'm going to do now is I, first, now I'm going to be highlighting everything and then we'll just wait until it gets built. And then we'll, that will be sort of uh, the climax of this build. So you can see how it's going to get built uh, again with these kind of things. Oh, uh, this is important. It has to stay down for as long as possible and go over to that location. Oh, the reason why it has to there, stay down is because I need another pipe going or belt going over, and therefore it can't go up at this one yet. So just preparing for the future. That's now built. That's built. And here. Oh, that, that one. This will go. Oh, it's it already one up for some reason. So I'll lead that forward to that location. Then I will get a splitter. This one. Which will be exactly the same place as the other one. We'll go out. Uh, this might be like a gigantic mistake to do the whole thing at once. Because they might not actually work. Yeah, I think I need to make sure that this thing gets built now. And this thing. Uh, I don't mind this one not being built. We can leave that as unbuilt. And then we'll try to unity this part. What? It did. No, okay. It just uh, didn't have enough unity for it. Oh, this one's important. 
And this one's important. And this one's important. Got that. Good. <laughs> they're all important. <laughs> so they're all important. Uh, how much we're we missing two here? Okay, so now I can, with this being built, then I can start working on the last bits. Uh, I'm mortally afraid of getting those out here because as soon as I do that, then I can't get anything out of these. But they're working. That's great. That's great. So now I need to get from here. And that will be at a distance of three. Inbound. Inbound. And then we have this one up here. In here. Just, I, I, I like this, but the, you have to remember all the weird rules of, uh, you can't do it on a distance, uh, on a on a ramp. You can't uh, merge and demerge on a ramp. And also like, yeah, all of that stuff. Okay, so it looks like we are now getting this one on right line. And I also need that as well. Now these ones will never be able to do any imports and exports anymore. Okay, that's kind of that's kind of what we anticipated, isn't it? Yeah, we don't have any copper. Oh no. Um And I can't trade for copper, right? We can't trade. Oh, we can trade a bit of copper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. How how bad is the trade for copper? It's 20 for 20. Oh, that's horrible. But I don't need it right now. I'll trade it a bit. Oh, yep. I guess copper is the first thing we do in the next episode. That's for sure. Uh, we just need this uh, in here. How much do we... We're almost there, right? We're almost there. And then once we have that, we can build the last bits. Yeah. But copper is the major issue. But luckily, copper does not require... Uh, I, it doesn't require much in terms of construction parts too. So that is where we're going to be wrapping up this part. We've also been making strides forward on uh, on the farming as well. Uh, we're getting our vegetable farming. But we So recap. Farms are doubled. Population almost doubled. And we have a better concrete build here. We now have the limestone mining operational in, in operation going. This needs to be become efficient concrete soon. We have built our rubber plant, and we have a fuel station as well, so that uh, these will these fuel stations will now go out here instead of having the excavators go across the base. And what we'll be doing next time is going focusing on some copper and fixing the ship so we can go out and do some exploration. So I hope you want to follow along with the series as we progress in this space. Uh, this, uh, yeah, it'll be running uh, daily, by daily, whatever. It, it depends on, on my, my schedule. So you, you really have to subscribe to the channel to keep up to with when the next episode comes out. I hope you um, enjoyed it. Be sure to hit the like button if you do and leave a comment if there are any mistakes or have some ideas or want something more, uh, more detailed explanation. Until next time, take care and as always, Stay effective.